Hi everybody, how are you doing? This is your boy, good boy, oh, KP. Um, today we'll be doing just a simple dictionary manipulation. Dictionaries in Python are very powerful and they very, can become very valuable, especially if your, your dictionary has hundreds of thousands, millions of uh, data points. Uh, dictionaries can be serialized using tools, modules like Tickle or JSON, and um, they, you can serialize them and then store them in a serial serialized format. And you can recall them as needed into different programs because um, you can have people working on dictionaries that can take a lot of time to create and then they're constantly being added to. Dictionaries are important and things like artificial intelligence. That's why um, uh, Python is used a lot in artificial intelligence because of the dictionaries and the lists and tuples. String manipulation is, uh, I think, Python's bread and butter. Alright, so here we have a, uh, there was a project with movies that I had to get done. And over here is just a sample of it. You know, this could be millions upon millions of uh, associations in a di dictionary. And my, I had to sort it by director or sort by title. As you can see, those the dictionary is made up of the key and the value the are, are these lists and in the list I have the title of the movie and the director so I had to be able to sort that either by year by director or by title but here I'll just give you the basic approach to manipulating a dictionary so it's easier if you convert it to a list. That way you can just access the, the indexes of the list once you have your list down in a certain format. So first, you have this for loop which with the item. This is a view function. So it's a read-only function. So the values you take out, you extract using a view function, you cannot manipulate them. You have to change them back over into something that's mutable, which is done here. So this this item function gives you the key and it gives you the value. In this case, the value is the entire list. The entire list is a value. Um, so we have the, it will extract the key, it will extract the value. We change them back into mutable forms by using the int function and of course the list function. And once we have our key and our value, we can now, we have basically a list in the value. We can now use the enumerate function to go through each index of the list. So we have uh, the enumerate function returns at the index and it returns the value inside of the index. Um, in this case, and then we'll just add the value, whatever it was, to the master list. And on every every um, even index, we'll add the key associated with uh, the information. So that's how we are going to lay out the master list. Run this. Now here you have your master list title, year, director, title, year, director, 
title, year, director. That's how the list has been formatted. Now, knowing that, you can basically do anything with this list. You can um, go in and write a small program to extract the director like I did here. Um, make a director's list. Here, like I did here, I made a director's list. Here, then here I made a title list. And then I sorted both lists once it was done. Okay, so that's basically how you convert a dictionary into a master list, and then you can use the master list, you can manipulate the information, you can do your searches based on the master list because it's easier to search, to uh, write a program for a list than it is to write a program to search a dictionary. And imagine if this was hundreds of thousands of keys, then um, you'll have to make a, a it's just easier to work with lists. And lists are um, list the the arrangement in the list is fixed. A dictionary, if you you can try to access the dictionary, but it's not um, the the indexes, if you can call it indexes, they're not fixed. Um, if you try to add uh, access an, a list. You know, it's not ordered. That's that what I'm the word I was looking for. Dictionaries are not ordered when you try to access information, but lists are ordered. They're predictable, which is why it's better to work with a list than with a dictionary. Even though a dictionary is good for storing information. All right. So thank you very much for listening, and have a good day. I'm just gonna you can. This program just, there's a lot of mistakes in here, but this just, um, I'm able to sort based on um, different, using different arguments, not just using the keys, but using the directors or using the title of the movie. All right, thank you. Have a good one.